interest. Uh, I mean, just from playing against them, uh, Indiana, uh, they, they always played us hard as hell. I know that. Um, every time we've seen those guys, uh, I think they beat us a couple times, actually. And then every time we see them, they just play so hard. And uh, those are the type of guys that you want to play with. You want to play with guys who are going to come to work each and every day. Uh, I think the only thing that kind of hurts them uh, uh, in this past season was they had a lot of guys that were injured. Um, a lot of guys that missed, you know, 20, 30, 40 games. So, you know, um, you never know what a team can do when they have so many guys, especially key guys, injured. And, uh, and uh, that's something that's, that you, you want to see. You want to see what, they can, what their potential growth is. And uh, me being a, a veteran, uh, being a, a leader, you know, I think I can bring that presence to this team and, and help this team potentially get back to making the playoffs. Yeah, the follow up that, what do you feel that you bring your you know, guys been around the league 10 years, been a number of teams, you know, in losing situations, winning situations, whatever. How do you look at what you'll bring and what you want to do? Uh, I mean, just from the aspect of me just going out there, just being a leader, uh, being able to talk to guys and, and you know, uh, being the most experienced on the team, uh, having the most playoffs games, and, and being able to go out there and, and you know, help lead these guys and show these guys this is how we should play basketball. And, and uh, bringing that team, that team oriented concept, but also uh, switching up the culture a little bit. Um, you know, as you know, as, as you guys probably know, in Indiana, you know, that was one of the biggest things. We had to switch up the culture, and uh, in switching up that culture, we were able to win, have two consecutive 48 win seasons. So, and uh, I think I, I would think I was a, a big part of you know us helping switch the culture. And you know, I just wanted to do the same thing, that kind of similar to what I, I did in Indiana. Just you know, bring that that hard work mentality. Um, you know, that, that hard hat mentality each and every night and just uh, being there for my guys and uh, just staying healthy and making sure that uh, you know, I'm willing my guys to victories and and uh, just bringing that, that leadership and that attitude and that, and that, that dog and that grit to each and every game. I've got a chance to play with Zach a little bit in this rookie season. What do you remember about him then and what have your early conversations been like with him now? Uh, I mean, Zach is, you know, his rookie year, he was just young. He was just young. He didn't understand the game. Um, but he, was, he had a... Uh, Great motor, uh, great ability to you know go out there and play the game. And I, I think he, he's, he's learned the game a lot. Uh, he's able to go out there and lead. He's able to go out there and uh, keep team keep keep our team into the games. And uh, and I think uh, you know with his ability to score the basketball, his ability to do a lot of different things athletically, uh, he's going to put us in a position. Uh, we know he's our guy, and uh, he's going to be the guy going forward. And uh, you know, my thing is just uh, to go out there and just help him harness those skills and, and continue to be the leader that I am, but uh, continue to help him get better as a, as, a, as a leader, get better as a player, and uh, and hopefully uh, help him make the offside. And there's a lot of talk about culture, like changing the culture in Chicago. You've done it. You just mentioned it. What does it take to change the culture? What are the little things that you have to do? Uh, it, it starts by um, not getting tired of the grind, not getting tired of the uh, competitive nature. You know, uh, you know, a lot of guys, uh, they tend to get tired of the repetitive nature of coming to practice every day and uh, doing the same thing over and over. But, you know, when you do those same things over and over, it, it helps you get better as a team, and it helps you uh, go out there and be able to uh, win more games as a team. So we just have to c continue to keep that grind, continue to stay focused and, and locked in on the task at hand, which is uh, uh, winning basketball games and uh, ultimately getting to the playoffs. Chicago's had a couple of tough, last couple of seasons have been pretty tough. What do you see now with the roster? Obviously, your addition, uh, Sadoransky has been an addition. You know, two rookies, couple is. What's your view of the roster and what you're joining? Uh, I think we have a, a, a well-rounded roster. Like I said, last year, it just had so many guys that were uh, out due to injury and hurt uh, that you really couldn't just see the potential of this team. But when they were healthy, I mean, they were they were a force to be dealing with. And, um, you know, they, they played hard. They continued to be aggressive, continued to fight. And they continue to do things, uh, you know, that that can help a team win. But like I said, injuries, you know, it kind of bit them in their butt a little bit. But uh, you know, just going in, just changing culture, being the leader, and uh, you know, it, it starts with, like I said, just being uh, in that mode where we're just continuously doing something repetitive and, and believing in that. Does it matter to you whether you start, whether you come off the bench? How do you see your role particularly? Uh, 